This is a book review of Secret Wars from Marvel Comics. This book came out in 2016, though it's a series from 2015. This actual copy came out in 220, so it might be slightly different cover. Now, what does it contain? Well, it contains the work of Johnson Hickman, Isad Rebeck, and of course, many, many, many others. It contains the free comic book day 2015, Secret Wars Zero and Secret Wars 1 to 9. Now, there were hundreds of, maybe not that many, but there were a lot, lots of spin-off stories, lots of battles and things. So there's elements in this story that are slightly confusing because unless you've read all the others, you think, wait, why is that? Why is this character in this position? Why is that? Position? Doesn't make much sense. But however, if you've got a reasonably good understanding of Marvel Comics, you know the characters. you just got the premise, the main premise of the story, Doom is God. He has made the world. Nothing existed before. Obviously, it did. But he's created it. Everyone has the belief that Doom is God. Now, he's an active God. He sits around. He's, this book is quite gloomy. I have to say, it's not a happy world. I mean, it is called Battle World, which sort of, I suppose, makes it obvious that it is not a particularly happy world. You've got this group of Thors that go around enforcing Then You've got a sheriff that basically worries about the, the details of all the various worlds. It's a small world. It is a, it's basically our world, but split into lots and lots of different zones of, of course, Marvel comic history in a sense. You've got, there's a, a lovely map in here where you've got all the different House of M and all those sorts of things. So he's created, oh, I'll take this bit of chunk, I'll take this bit. But it's all the gloomiest bits. You've got the, the zombies and things. You've got the, the and it's, it's still pretty decent. I mean, it's a decent story. However, of course, with this, the God needs people to believe in him. And however, at some point, that starts breaking down. And you've also got other people that come along that certainly do not believe in Doom. They know who Doom is. So it's it's a good a really good storyline. There's some deaths in it, quite a few deaths in it. There's lots of great surprises, lots of nice twists, lots of and I it's just a great book. All the way through, there's some pretty gruesome scenes in places. Oh, this is what I was looking for. The Secret Wars Battle World! And you got Greenland. <laughs> Poor old Greenland. I wonder what's happening in Greenland. Probably not very much. Dystopia. Domain of Apocalypse. Egyptia. Why can't you just call it Egypt? Technopolis. Valley of Doom. Oh, maybe that's where he lives. Spider Island. The Regency. King James England. So there's lots of these stuff. Weird World. Warzone. New Quack City. I suppose that's where Howard the Duck. I don't know. The Hydra Empire. Westchester. And so on. So he's taken little bits and he's split them all up. Of course, the world doesn't look remotely like our world. So there is a resemblance there, I suppose, to Europe and Africa, etc., and America. But you've got all your familiar characters, but done, of course, slightly different. And, and some are some even more different than normal in the normal Marvel universe. But it's just, I think it's thoroughly enjoyable. Thoroughly enjoyed every single page of this. It's a good, good story. Builds up to a really good climax, and it's got really good end which is something you always want from a book you want a satisfying end and this is definitely this book has definitely got it i think you'd be very surprised if you came away from it thinking oh that was a disappointment i think it is a nice end if you're a marvel comics fan if you like i say if you haven't read marvel comics or anything before you would probably find this book completely confusing i mean there's all these characters in it there's not really much you got i love this uh, they always include this at the start You've got a cast, so you've got the Avengers, etc. Guardians of the X-Men, Earth 1610, the Cabal, etc. You've got all of the cast. So not going to give any spoilers away, but the first page, you've got the cast. So you know who all the... Now, they've all changed in many ways who they are. And it's, uh, it's good, though. I, th I thoroughly enjoyed this book. Some brilliant art. What more can you want? And also some bonus material. However, not as much bonus material as I would like. I would love, and I always love, in any of these books, 
would have been a nice essay at the back. John Hickman writing an essay, obviously at the back, you don't want it forward, but at the back, just to give an explanation, what was the reasoning behind these things? I mean, obviously I, I've got my interpretation of what I think doom, etc., what the storyline meant and means. However, I think it's just nice to know the creator, some little information about the workings, the background, various, how it all fitted together. And you got all the covers, which I think are just great. You got lots of the variant covers, which is like, must have been very confusing when it came out, going to shops. I must admit saying that. I'm, I'm not one for variant covers, but however, it's nice. Nice seeing them in here. However, they are fairly small variant covers, so they're quarter page. Would have been nice if they'd been full on, because of course they don't include, in most cases, the actual banners and, and various blurbs and whatever. So you've got the great covers there, and that's it. But it's an excellent book, Secret Wars. I'm really pleased I bought this. I thoroughly enjoyed it. So uh, totally recommended.